Hi there. Normally on my channel I'm talking about old stuff, but today I'm talking about new stuff. Brand new servers from Dell. And not only one or five. No, I have ten of them. And here in this room I have ten more of them. And there are 60 more of them waiting. We didn't receive them yet, but that's the service here. They are all Dell R740 XD. And what that means, I will show you in a moment. The Dell R740 is the newest model of the 700 series. 40 means it's generation 14. Uh, 730 would be generation 13 and so on. And that's how it looks inside. These servers are all equipped with up about the maximum you can install. We have two CPUs, two Xeon Gold 6148. We have a lot of RAM, that's all 64 gigabyte modules, so we have a total of 1.5 terabyte RAM here inside this server. We have one, two, three NVMe uh, SSD adapters. NVMe is uh, an SSD that connects directly to a PCI Express bus, so that's in fact some kind of PCI Express lines. They go to the back plane in the front. And we need three adapters because we have a maximum of uh, 24 disks. So with four disks Per channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 4 is 24 disk drives. And then there is an additional RAID controller down here. That's for uh, SATA and SAS drives. And there is also this uh, kind of interface board. So it is possible to mix SATA drives and NV. ME uh, drives here on this backplane. I think it's about uh, six uh, normal SATA drives and the rest NVMe or you can also install all NVMe. Uh, well I haven't read the manual because I'm a bit in a hurry with this servers. Uh, I have to burn in test them and I have to add an interface here. Uh, it's a 4 times 10 gigabit Ethernet card. And uh, I simply I unpack them, I put the card in, I close the cover, I put them in the rack, make the burn-in test and then put them in the box again. So there is not much time to read manuals. And in fact that's information I don't need at the moment. And that's the back side of the server. We have here two four port one gig Ethernet. So that makes eight one gig Ethernet ports. We also have eight 10 gig Ethernet port with the SFP modules not installed at the moment. They are going here and here. Uh, we have RAID controllers here and we have two power supplies with 1100 watt each. I think that's the strongest you can get for this server. But uh, we will see that in the configuration sheet online on the Dell website that I will show you uh, after this part. And this is how it looks like when we turn it on. 
don't take it apart, turn it on. I will jump the memory test because with 1.5 terabytes of RAM that takes quite a while. And I'm booting from an USB stick made with the AOMI 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 PE Builder that can be downloaded free from the internet. And it is quite handy because it already has CPU set installed and that's what I use to stress the CPUs a little bit. And here it is. And that's CPU set or CPU ID. I know it's not probably not the best stress test, but it takes my CPUs to 100% of load, and that's exactly what I need because I'm stress testing it for heat problems and not for performance or what out whatever problems and now let me show you a pretty unique feature here that's something I have never seen on another server we can configure it with a smartphone so all you need is open manage app from Dell that can be downloaded for free in the app shop or in whatever shop you need. Then we see no servers have been added. Add server. Select a method so we add we are quick sync to that's the new thing here. And it even shows you how to do it. You have to press that button. This button here, the white button. Okay. It found the server. Yellow. I take this one, security check, takes a while, whatever it checks here, accept. Then we have to scan the QR code, exactly as mentioned. Now I have a phone in my phone, okay. That's nice. Scan QR code. And, uh, take that out. Scan it. Done. Okay. And now I have all the information of my server here. Maybe. Yes. IP address of the iDRAC, the name of the server, serial number, hardware logs, ok, ok, chassis is open, yes I opened, drive 0 is removed, yes I took the drive out for a test, uh, yeah, box firmware details, network, all kind of stuff and it works via Bluetooth. So this server has Bluetooth installed and I can turn it off if I don't need it or if I don't want that anyone else can do anything. Okay, I don't know how useful that is but it's a feature and it's in this server. Okay, let's talk about money. That's also an important aspect when it comes to new servers. So I'm here on the Dell website. It's the Swiss-German website with Swiss francs. Uh, here 
but at the moment Swiss francs and US dollars are about the same. I think one Swiss franc is one dollar and one cent. So you can take these numbers, convert it to dollars and you know what you have. So let's see, it's the R740 XD. It's exactly the server that I have uh, here for testing. <coughs> And it is in a base version 20,300 francs or dollars. Then what we have here is we have the 24 uh, NVMe drive chassis that adds 766 dollars per server. Uh, No, it has gotten cheaper. Okay, why? Uh, no mid bay. Okay, uh, trust the platform module. We don't have that. We need another processor. You see the price. Wow, fifteen thousand dollars for one CPU. That's not bad. Okay, that's not the one we have. We have the. 6148 with 20 cores that adds another 3889. Oh, okay, that's that. The processor selection is quite large. Okay, then we have an additional processor. Yes, it's already. Active uh, heatsink, yes, that's included. Uh, memory, I don't know, I don't think we have some special memory mode. We do have uh, low power dims, low power reg registered dims, um, and we have the 64 gigabyte modules. It's two, 2,000 francs each. And we have 24 of them. Yes, that adds up. 85,000, I thought we... Do we have 24? Well, maybe prices have changed. Um, operating system? No, we don't have that. That's something the customer will supply. Secondary operating system? No, virtualizing? I don't know. Uh, we have an internal SD module. I saw that with 32 gigabytes. Um, that's wrong. We have it two times. <clears throat> uh, boot controller. Uh, no, I don't think we have something of that. Additional software. No. License. No. Virtuali Virtualization software, no, but ooh, it's expensive. Um, rate configuration, uh, no. Rate controller, no. Well, we have rate controllers, but that one is included and the others are not here. We don't have any drives, that's something the customer will supply at a later state. Uh, that's also quite expensive, for example, a 6.4 terabyte for 14,000 each. Not bad. Uh, power saving, don't know. BIOS setting, so you can have your own BIOS setting, seems so. We don't have that. Uh, power supply, dual 
we have 1000 watt power supply that adds another 200 francs uh, uh -huh. i think it's that one yeah doesn't matter it's already a high total price uh power cord we don't have a power cord no power cord well it's anyway it's included so we don't save anything if we order it without power cord but uh you cannot confirm <laughs> okay you have to deselect that yeah it's a smart website okay power cord saved us 20 bucks 10 each so additional hardware options i rank nine we do have that but i'm not sure no we only have the standard one okay network adapter mm, gigabit quad port yes we have two of them can we select two of them i don't know yes we can uh then we need we need we need where are the 10 gigabit quad port dual port dual port quad port 10 gigabit okay that's another 900 francs and we have two of them so give me two of them okay <clears throat> Broadcom, oh, blah. Ooh, that's a lot of adapters you can stick into this machine. Um, host bus adapter, yes, we do have. I think it's the 16 gigabyte single port. Uh, how many ports? No, we don't have fiber channel. We don't have fiber channel. Uh, Oh yes, mixed use, uh, express flash, what's that? That's not a PCI, okay, it's a PCI card, it's a NVMe. Disk, flash, drive, okay. That's a cover for the front, that's included. Uh, rack rails, included, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I think that's about it. So we are on a total price of 88,353 francs and 57 cents. Now the customer has ordered um, 80 of these machines. Uh, that's 80 times 88,353. Um, that's, uh, yeah, about 7 million francs. Okay, why not? Nice gift for Christmas, nice gift for a new year. Um, that's what 7 million francs or dollars look like. Okay, thanks for watching.